Hello everyone, it's Linda from Linda Z's in Arlington Heights, Illinois, and we have a little holiday project for you. It's something that you can do for Halloween, which is coming up real quick, or Thanksgiving, or you could change the colors and make it for Christmas, Hanukkah, you could do it for the spring, you could do Easter, you could do all kinds of uh, summery things. So. The first thing that we're gonna start with, we're, we're actually, and I'm gonna turn this on because it's actually sewing. You can hear this uh, 10 needle. The reason that I'm using it, I'm doing a project from the OESD Spree Club. Um, it's an older one, but it really is a good one. And there is a USB stick that works very, very well with this. And I'm gonna turn it off for a second. You can see that I have the USB stick in the uh, machine. So those of you that have embroidery machines that have a port for USB, that's really important because then you can take any of these designs and uh, use them. Now, this is done very simply with a simple little hand towel. Um, you can buy those in all kinds of really fun colors for a uh, holiday. Like this is more of a, a Thanksgiving, um, Halloween type colors but you can get them in greens and you know um, reds and silver and all kinds of fun things. So depending upon the time of year. And what is what we are making out of this little hand towel are these little wine bottles. And if you're not a wine drinker, it could be a ginger ale bottle or it could be something fun that you give full of candy and snacks to somebody. So some little bag that is just full of really fun treats. And you can see on these um, USB sticks, I don't happen to have the design with me. I actually have it on my computer and I can print out the directions. I can go ahead and take the towel and out of one hand towel, I can make two of these bottles. And that's what I'm doing here. I took the the, um, <clears throat> the yellow one because I thought it was just kind of, you know, a fallish autumn type of color. And I prefer to use the bobbins, the pre-wound bobbins. Some of you have those in your machines. These are the Magna Glides that, you know, stick right, they, they are um, attached. The little black part is what goes right into your bobbin. And you can see underneath here, I can easily get at my bobbin and put it in or out. Um, they come in all different colors and I like to use whatever color that the towel is. So if I were using brown, I'd use a black. Uh, the red, I'd use red, and of course blue and, and on. Now, in the top of this, what I have done, and why this is so quick on a 10 needle, is because I can just thread my machine ahead of time, and I don't know, Nick, I'll walk over here if you can kind of get in on the screen, and you can see what I've done on the screen. It's actually yellow. There is a little button up here that I can, uh, when I go into my edit screen, I literally can go onto my screen and I can scan what is under my hoop. So it tells me, it's, you can see it, it's a yellow towel that I have here. And the design that OESD created was for colors that were, let's see if I can see them, they're kind of a purple and green and I don't know, a lime green and a white. I didn't like those colors. I mean, they're fine for another color, but for autumn, I wanted to take some of these great um, autumn colors over there, like you can see on the, uh, the two wine uh, jars here. And so I threaded them in one of these bronze color and oranges and, you know, just autumn colors. You can do whatever you want. That's what's really fun about this. And then what I did, which I think is really great, those of you that have a Magna, you've probably heard about these new um, wonderful hoops that have these magnetic, it's called a magnetic sash hoop. And watch what I do with it. Oh, just clipped it right on. So it was real easy to put on. The first step when you are making a wine bag like this or a, a little bag, and I don't think, Nick, you can get in here that close because I'm a little far away, but <clears throat> the first thread color is a stitch that does goes around the shape of the bag. And you'll see that in your instructions. Now I use this little pink tape. It's not um, the blue painter's tape. Don't use that because it that'll get all over your fabric. You've seen me use this a lot. And it just kind of holds the extra edge. I clamped the, the two edges down with the actual magnetic glide and you know the sashing hoop. But the rest of it, I really didn't need to clamp down. I used a tear away in the hoop. That's what is actually hooped in with this magnetic glide. 
and I mean with this um, magnetic sash. And then after I um, put the stabilizer in, the first thing I did was to take the first color that's on the design up here, this number one, and it stitched an outline of the bottle that is you're seeing right here. So I took that outline and then I laid my towel over the outline so I know that the towel would be exactly in the right position. Now, the second thing that I'm doing, I didn't have, I skipped a couple of steps in this, um, th this actual uh, design because my towel already has, if you look at the top of this, it's really cool. The top already is hemmed. So why hem it again? And that's what they're showing you on the design is to have you turn the raw edge over and stitch it down. I didn't have to do that, it was already done. So I just put that on the line and the outline is, um, it didn't have to do the first two steps. I did wanna see the first step where the outline was, but I didn't have to do the second one where it would stitch this, um, this hem down. The entire wine bag is made in the hoop. That's what's really cute. I didn't need to have another sewing machine. I didn't, I don't need to go back and do edges and trim it or anything. And I'll show you, I'm gonna turn it inside out in a minute and you'll see what I'm talking about. But in the meantime, what I've done now is I'm, this is the right side of the towel. The wrong side is underneath, it's facing down so you can see the uh, hem. And I have now done the stitching or I'm continuing and it can stop at any time. You see how that little button lights up? And it's really cool because now it can go ahead and start again. Now, when that stitching is done, what I am going to do, and this is really an amazing thing. I'm gonna take this right here. You're gonna act as if this is your, now this is the wrong side. And you can see that, can't you, Nick? Or is this a good place for it? Okay, because that's the wrong side. We wanna turn it to the right side for the first one that we're doing. Because when it's on the right side, it's already got the top edge. You see how this top edge of this wine bottle is already sewn down? So what we're doing now in that hoop is we're stitching the design. And I know exactly where to have positioned this towel because I had the outline already sewn out on the stabilizer. Now I'm gonna take the wrong side of this hoop, cut trim this off because you don't want any of the, uh, the tags on there. And this is where you want to use those applique scissors. I don't happen to have them with me, but I'm going to throw. I know it's hard to cut up a real good towel. It has a real nice um, handle on it. But now I'm going to take this and put it on top. This is where my design is sewn, right down on here. I'm going to take this towel, put it over, and now the stitch is going to go all the way around and make the rest of the wine bag. And then the edges are all finished. I like to then take my pinking shears and go around and trim off the edges. And I'll show you what I'm talking about on here. This one is, um, you know, these are towels that'll fray a little bit. And that's why the um, pinking shears is really, are really fun to have. And you can see when I turn this little one out, it's got the stabilizers on the inside. And all I did was take my pinking shears and trim it. And you can leave some of the stabilizer on. I use the tear away. You know, a lot of times you would use if you're, depending on the hoop that you're using, if you don't have one of these magnetic hoops, then this is a woven fabric. So I would definitely use a heat and stay tear away. This one, because it's magnetic and I can just put it in there, I don't have to do that. I just use the, um, I hoop the magnetic hoop with the uh, tear away, which was wonderful. Then I can just tear it away afterwards. But you can see now how the top is finished. I took my pinking shears and went around. I'm gonna show you the other one because you always wanna look at the inside, right? <laughs> Again, your um, friends or whoever it is that you're gonna give this to, are going to have a really wonderful treat because you can see on the inside of this one. Now I added to the design on this one. There weren't, there was not any, I guess there was a little writing on here. There was just a, a little pumpkin and harvest type thing. I think it was cider in here. So I just added autumn designs or autumn something. But you can see the stitching. You see how it went around and it, the tear away will still be on there. You're gonna tear everything off afterwards. 
and turn it to the right side and you have a completely finished bottle uh, bag that you can put, like I said, goodies or any kind of thing that you would like in it. So a real quick little simple thing, you know, I put Autumn Harvest on it. And those of you that have machines that um, you can add in uh, letters to a design, that's always fun to do because, um, you know, sometimes you'll just find a real cute little pumpkin design or maybe a little leaf design. Uh, and then you want to add something to it, and that's what I did on here. Now, the witch's one, this design and the um, actual lettering was part of the, uh, I don't think I'd want to drink that brew. <laughs> you, it says, drink up witches. Okay, it's green <laughs> and bubbly. So um, this was already on there. This one I just added. So I hope it's it's not a lot. It's a very simple thing. The directions are going to tell you that you're going to cut two pieces and you're actually going to cut four pieces and put them together. And you don't need to do that. You can start with a simple plain towel and just fold it, fold it in half. You're going to put this again into your hoop. You're going to do on your right side. This is your right side. So your hem is up here. Then you're going to do your design. You're going to stitch it. You're going to put this back over it. It's going to do the outline of the bottle, which is really nice. And then you will, voila, have a finished product. <laughs> so again, I think I've covered everything. I use, I, I always bring this Hugo tape out because I have a lot of stabilizer <laughs> floating around here. I always like to use the right kind. And I like to roll it up afterwards with this. It's really a nice way. I think that the um, the kits, if you can find these kits, they're the best way um, to purchase your stabilizer. I like the big rolls because I have bigger um, hoops, but if you are starting out, and this is a great project for those of you that are new to start embroidering, um, buy the small little kits because it has everything that you'll need in it and you're saving money when you um, you know, you get the right stabilizer. Make sure you're using the right stabilizer. And if you don't, if you've never tried it before, just get some tearaway, and that will it, that will work too. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, happy, happy uh, Halloween and happy Thanksgiving, and we'll probably see you before then. But um, have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much for uh, watching our videos. We really appreciate it.